This video will show you how to install the opening control device on Anderson 400 series gliding windows. You'll need safety glasses, an electric drill, a 1 16th inch drill bit, a pencil, and a tape measure. You will also need a dual action window opening control device, a strike plate, two number six by five eighths inch screws, one number six by one inch screw, and a sash stop, which are all available from your Anderson dealer or parts.andersonwindows.com. Before you begin, find the service guide that came with your dual action window opening control device. Be sure to read it completely, including all the cautions and warnings. You can also download the service guide at andersonwindows.com. Be sure to use caution when working at elevated heights and around unit openings. Follow manufacturer's instructions for ladders and or scaffolding. Failure to do so may result in injury or death. Young children may fall out of a window if the opening control device is not installed correctly. Install the window opening control device so that a rigid 4 inch diameter sphere does not pass through any space in the window opening after the window opening control device is in place. Begin by closing and locking the window. Using your fingers, remove the adjustment hole plug and discard. You may need to use a utility knife to remove the adjustment hole plug. The adjustment hole plug is a small part and, if swallowed, could pose a choking hazard to young children. Dispose of the removed adjustment hole plug. Next, unlock and open the active sash and align the passive sash behind it. This will allow for easier access to the adjustment hole. Replace the adjustment hole plug with the strike plate. With the strike plate in place, close and lock the window. Using a tape measure, measure 4 inches from the edge of the strike plate and make a mark on the sill with a pencil. Next, position the window opening control device tight to the window frame with the edge on the pencil mark. Firmly seat the device with the tabs over the lip and using an electric drill, drill two 1 16th inch holes one half inch deep. Be sure to use the device as a template to mark hole locations and fasten with number six by 5 8 inch screws. The window opening control device should automatically re-engage when closing the active sash. The opening must be less than four inches. Next, close the active sash, but do not lock it. Open the passive sash four inches from the outer frame member. Now, open the active sash and position the sash stop in the passive sash track tight against the glide shoe. Press the sash stop firmly into place and close the active sash. Verify that there's a four inch opening for the passive sash with the glide shoe touching the sash stop. Open the active sash and close the passive sash far enough to allow room for your drill. Next, drill a 1 16th inch hole half an inch deep using the sash stop as a template. Using the number six by one inch screw, fasten the sash stop in place. Be sure not to over tighten the screws into the sash stop. Finally, open the window to make sure the reveal is less than four inches. Congratulations, you have successfully installed the opening control device on your Anderson window. If you need parts for your Anderson windows or doors, just go to our online parts store at parts.andersonwindows.com. And if you have questions about care, maintenance, or repair, call our customer care center at 888-888-7020 or visit the help center in the service section of our website at help.andersonwindows.com. Anderson. Customer care is what we care about most.